The next thing we're going to need on our face is a scar or perhaps a fresh cut that happened, maybe on a cheek or on a forehead. I'll let you decide where. But before we begin, we're going to go get a resource that's going to help us with this. The nice thing about Photoshop is we have all of these options for brushes. It's going to help us to get a shape that we want so we don't have to draw that shape ourselves. There are also resources out on the internet that can help you with this as well. Brush Easy is a website where you can get some free brushes. You can even get some Photoshop patterns and some free textures for your use. But also be careful because they have premium graphics. So if you want any of these down here, then you would have to pay for them. So just to give you an example, what I use for my scar was cracked brush. Here we've got a few examples. These ones, it says sponsored images. They are all from Shutterstock. So if I click here, it's going to take me to a new site. And here's that brush. And it says we can create a free account and get this image, but you will have to pay for it. Also, this is just an image. It is not a brush. So that is not what we want. Remember, all these ones say premium. They are also not what you want. You're going to want something down here. I've actually saved my own brushes from here. These are the brushes that we're going to use in this tutorial, and I will give you a link to these brushes so that you can use these exact brushes if you want to. But once here, you can download that, and now it should be in your downloads. Right there it is. So you click on that. And if you don't have a downloads icon down here, you can always just click on finder and this will pop up and you can find your downloads. It was in a zipped file. So now that it's opened, it looks like this. And when you get here, there's your brushes right here. We are actually not going to do anything with the file. So let's go back to Photoshop and I'll show you what we are going to do. Here in your option bar, you can go to this little gear right here and you have some options. You actually have some extra brushes here that you can look at and when you click on them, they will load and go in to your brush palette. But we wanna load these cracked brushes. So I click there and I find them in my downloads. If I click on the list menu and I click date modified, it'll give me the last one that came up. There it is. And that's the one that I want. And it doesn't look like anything happened. But if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, here are our cracked brushes. And it might be easier to see them if I get a large thumbnail. So there you go. That's what they look like. Click on them and see what they look like. Of course, you should probably have the brush tool. Now we can do it. That's what they look like. It just has a really nice edge to the brush, a little bit more natural than just a straight line, which we would have drawn with your regular brush. So anytime you're looking for something specific and you're not really sure how to achieve it, sometimes you can go look for a brush and you can find what you're looking for.